Customizing an Android phone is, in my opinion at least, one of the best parts about Android overall. Not only do we have a huge selection of Android launches to choose from, but we also have hundreds, if not thousands of third-party icon packs and widget packs and all sorts of different packs, all of which really have the potential to make our home screens not only visually stunning, but also highly functional as well. And if you're a fan of customization, then you'll probably know that the toughest challenge you can come across is not necessarily creating a setup in and of itself, but rather finding inspiration in the first place. And so for anyone who doesn't already know, I actually created my very own application that aims to solve this issue and it's called Palette. It's designed to be your one-stop hub for finding beautifully designed and highly customized Android setups. And I did an in-depth walkthrough of the entire app at the back end of last year, link below if you missed that. But with so many amazing setups getting submitted and featured within the app every single week, I thought it was about time that I showcased some of my favorites here on the channel. So I've picked three incredible setups from my app palette. And the cool thing is that you can find each of today's setups in the featured section under the category dubbed the best home screen setups. I'm actually working on adding in a brand new category altogether for videos showcasing setups from my palette application. So if you're watching this video in the future, keep an eye out for that. You can find all of the assets needed for each setup right from within the app itself, including backup and wallpaper files, links to widget and icon packs, all of that good stuff. So if you wanna follow along with today's video, make sure you download the app using the link below. But with that said, let's jump right in with setup number one. And so first up is this beautiful light setup called Creamy Blends. And it's been submitted by Christian Galvez. And what I love about this one is how visually striking it is. It really does catch the eye and yet a lot of thought has been put into how functional the setup is as well. As you can see on the setup details page here within Palette, we've got a list of all of the assets needed to recreate this setup on our own devices. So Nova Launcher, the Olympia Icon Pack, and the Shadow KWGT Pack. So we just need to tap on each of these assets and download them via the Play Store. Christian has also uploaded the wallpaper file directly, so we can go ahead and download that as well. And last but not least, in preparation for this episode, I actually created and uploaded the backup file as well, so we can go ahead and download that. And having all of these assets are gonna make recreating this setup outrageously easy. We can also tap this little information icon up here, and Christian has been nice enough to add in each of the widget details as well, so we'll make a mental note of those. And now we can open up Nova Launcher to get started. Now, first thing we need to do is head into the Nova Launcher settings, then come down to the backup and restore section and tap on restore backup. We'll navigate to that recently downloaded backup file, select that and hit okay. With that done, you should now be able to see three app icons towards the bottom there and three blank widgets ready for us to set up. But before we do that, we'll long press our home screen and tap on wallpapers. We'll then locate and select the recently downloaded wallpaper file. And with that done, all we now need to do is set up these widgets. So starting with the top one, let's tap on that and then we'll hit the search icon and search for 095 and select the shadow KWGT widget here. We'll need to then adjust the scale so it fits properly, which you can do so by coming over to the layer tab, selecting the scale field here and typing in 85. This may need to be adjusted depending on the phone you're using, so keep that in mind. All right, we'll save that and come back home and there is our first completed widget. Now we'll tap on the second widget and search for 027. And again, we'll select the shadow KWGT widget that shows up. This one also needs to be resized. So we'll again, come over to the layer tab, select where it says 100 and type in 80 or again, whatever number is needed for your device. With that done, we'll again, save that and come back home. And now all we need to do is set up this bottom widget. We'll tap on that, search 011, and then again, select the shadow KWGT widget that shows up. We'll again come over to the layer tab and select the scale field and I'll type in 85, then I'll save that, come back home and there is our completed home screen setup. And like I said, I just love how fresh and light this setup looks. And as you saw, it was outrageously easy to set up. So feel free to check it out within the app if you wanna recreate it yourself. But with that being said, let's now look at setup number two. 
All right, next up is this fantastically vibrant setup called Target. It was submitted by Mango Setups. It was also created using Nova Launcher. And what's unique about this one is that aside from the wallpaper, everything you see within the setup is actually from one widget pack and it's called Toad KWGT. The wallpaper itself comes from the excellent wallpaper app dubbed Nothing But Wallpapers, which is completely free to download, yet is filled with over 500 visually stunning backdrops. And with the app installed, all you need to do is search for Minimal 9, and there it is. We'll set that one as our wallpaper, and once we've done that, we'll come back to Palette and download the backup file. We'll also tap on the information icon here and note the widgets being used, which are T006 and T088. Once that's done, let's come back to Nova Launcher and head into the settings, then down to the backup and restore section and restore the backup file that we just downloaded. Then as with the previous setup, it's just about getting our widget set up. So we'll tap this top widget and search for T006 and then select the Toad KWGT option that comes up. Now this widget actually looks a little different to the final one used in Mango Setup's submission, which means it's been edited. But it's actually a really simple edit. All we need to do to make sure it looks the same is select this top item here and delete it. Now we just need to tap on this bottom group, come over to the layer tab, set the scale to 150, then come over to the position tab and set the X offset to negative 140 and the Y offset to zero. We'll save that, come back home, and there we go. All right, for the bottom widget, this one's a little easier. We'll just tap it and then search for T088. We'll select the widget that comes up and this should have the right sizing by default, but of course, adjust it if need be. However, one caveat is that you will need to have a phone that lets you hide the bottom navigation bar if you want that bottom app draw element to look correct. If you don't have a phone that supports this, then I would personally just suggest deleting that particular element and then leaving the rest as is. Now on my Pixel 6, which is rooted, I'm actually using a magic module called Navbar Gone to hide the navigation bar for this particular setup. So if you have a rooted device, that might also be an option for you. I'll leave a link to that module down in the description below as well. But that's it for this setup. Again, like the first one, this setup is also super visually appealing, pretty simple to recreate as well. So a great option if you're looking for inspiration. But with that one created, let's now take a look at the third and final setup for today's episode. And so finally today we have Neon Leaf, a beautiful setup submitted by Kushal War. It's once again being created using Nova Launcher and it also uses the Glow Icon Pack and the Sheer KWGT Pack. And that phenomenal wallpaper comes from the Papers wallpaper application. So starting with that wallpaper, if we tap the info icon up here, you can see that the wallpaper is called Tropical Neon. So we'll jump over to the Papers wallpaper app and search for Tropical Neon and we'll go ahead and set that as our wallpaper. I actually found that you need to scale it up ever so slightly to ensure it matches the screenshot in the original submitted setup. We'll come back to palette for a moment and we'll download the backup file. And then as long as you have the Glow Icon Pack and the Sheer KWGT Pack downloaded, we can now come to Nova Launcher and get started. As always, the first thing we'll do is come into the Nova Launcher settings and navigate down to the backup and restore section, select restore backup, and then again, we'll locate and select the backup file that we just downloaded. And then for this setup, we only have one widget in the middle there. So we'll tap on that, search AW069 and select the widget that shows up. All we need to do now is come over to the layer tab and scale this up to 85 or thereabouts. Then we'll save that, head back home, and there is our completed setup. And really, all the heavy lifting here is done by that wallpaper. If you can find a backdrop that has some sort of outline component to it, that then allows you to fit widgets or icons within those outlines for a really clean and cohesive result, much like this setup submitted by Kushal. But that is it for this video. And fun fact, the three users who submitted the setups featured in today's video are actually regular contributors to Palette. And if it hasn't already been released, we're at the very least super close to launching a brand new version of Palette that actually allows you to tap on a user's name to not only see all of their submitted setups, but so that you can also then follow them. And that means you'll have quick access to their profile and all of their submitted setups via your own user details menu. Again, and if it's not already out, that new version will be coming soon. So 
Stay tuned for that. Let me know if you'd like to see a second episode of this series down in the comments below. But aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.